100 the journey. Lights flash. He's prepared to hold them. There's one. It might be like Viewers. They're racing on this occasion, though. Not a bad line away, although Euphonius was beaten for pace and Jetta Fair drops out. Strasmore began brilliantly from the outside, speeding across now and driving up what planet you want. And also Lakeview and Star pushes on. Right behind those, kicking up on the rails, then is Indian Chant when they'd settled down. Empire Khan is in behind those in a length away, came at the head of the others, settling into stride then. Further back, ping me another. And they're being followed by Miss Ditchburn, may keep him, Jetta Fair and last euphonia strasmore cleared them at the 600 mark and led by two lengths running second over on the inside there is indian chant getting a good run to the home corner on its outside what planet you on pike is about to stoke up lakeview and star as the leader kicks coming onto the corner strasmore had them off the bridle over on the inside then ping me another at the top of the home straight into the bend now they come at the 350 strasmore by two running second indian chant lakeview and star he's having to really get to work on him in behind those back Battling away, ping me another with 150 left to go though. Indian Chant went up on the outside of Strasmore and now Lake View and Star charging and so is Rebel Knight with a great run. Oh, Rebel Knight gunned them down. It went two to their one Rebel Knight. And Rebel Knight, I thought, got to Lake View and Star right on the line from either Indian Chant or Strasmore, which has run a very cheeky race. In behind them, ping me another Euphonius from the tail end of the field, then Jetta Fair, followed further back by May Keep him, Miss Ditchburn, and then a long way back to the stable mate. Empire Khan and what planet you on pulled up a long last. Rebel Knight has come with a wet sail for Mitch Pateman. And form behind it through Sammer's Dat back in that last campaign. And it has charged down the outside. The leaders were starting to tiptoe. Lakeview and Star, unlike last time where he led comfortably, couldn't get there. Pike just settled him in behind the pace. An Indian champ was there, ready to attack Strasmore, but Strasmore with the blinkers going on, found very good run there, having to be used up for gas early on in the race from its wide draw. But it was Rebel Knight that steamed home right down the outskirts to grab them in the absolute last stride to win the PIMS handicap. By Universal Ruler from Rebel Sister for impressive racing and partners, trained by Darren McAuliffe, winning rider Mitchell Pateman. Second placing goes to One Lake View and Star by High Chaparral from Royal Devotion. Ross Price, William Pike for Frank and Josie Fiore. And third, number four, Indian Chant, a war chant gelding from Jesseni, David Harrison and Jordan Turner. Good finish, bustling go, a neck and nose ahead, 111.56 there, the time in the last 635.77. 5.30, Rebel Knight, Lake View and Star, 110. Indian Chant will pay $2.30. On the WOP, Rebel Knight ran sixes, 150, Lakeview and Star and Indian Chant, $11 after blowing in the market. Race five to start the Quadrilla, the Devil's Lair handicap over 2,200 metres at 440. And in the next 10 comes out absolute magic and uh, no riding alterations there. That's for the fifth. In the meantime, let's uh, head down to uh, Gareth and uh, Rebel Knight. Blazing a trail down the middle to score here. First up and certainly came back after that encouraging run on rain-affected ground back in July. And that was, of course, at the hands of the subsequent Magic Millions trophy winner on the weekend in Sammer's Dad. Yeah, that's a good form line, and this horse had a little bit of a break, and as Macca pointed out, it's had form behind Samizdat. Six starts before today for two placings, but looks like it's come back a better horse, Darren. Yeah, just needed a little bit of throat surgery, and um, yeah, his trial put the riding on the wall. It was a very, very good trial. Um, suffered uh, quite a nasty check in running. I think, uh, the favourite was sort of grabbed hold of, whether it overreacted to sort of the Norton bit and um, trying to get it to settle, but it, it came right back in our lap, and I thought we were, our chances were gone. But to the horse credit he picked himself up and there's probably a bit more merit in that win than most people realize there's always nerves i would imagine you've would have had a few horses over the years with those th throat operations but especially the way that mitchell was able to get that horse to come back underneath him he copped a check and its breathing seemed to be working perfectly in the end and i guess it was fully tested there today yeah, 100%. He ran through the line strongly, and that's the only way you can really sort of judge those kind of things. And then obviously when he comes back in and how he's sort of breathing and how he recovers. But uh, look, he, he copped the same sort of interference in the trial. You know, they came back in his lap when they set up mid-trial. And, um, you know, so, um, yeah, full credit to the horse. How far can he go? 
I've always said he'll run actually a bit of a trip uh, as opposed to like his full brother Rebel King. Um, I think he'll sort of get up to a middle distance quite comfortably. Oh, the boys in impressive racing, another smart one on their hands. Albany Cup on Sunday, winning midweek races on Wednesday. Job well done, D-Mac. Too easy. There we go, Brittany Taylor's about to catch up with the Albany Cup winning man in Mitchell Pateman, uh, Britt. Weren't they wonderful celebrations we saw from Mitch on the weekend winning the Albany Cup with DMAC. It was a, a great scene and they continue their form here. Mitch, congratulations on the win here. What were you thinking when the, the horse just came back into your lap in front of you? Um, I was blaming myself. It was probably more, more my fault than anyone's. But, um, yeah, once I sort of got back and followed Pikey, he got into a better rhythm and, yeah, I probably should have just been on Pikey's back from the get-go. But, um we got the result in the end. You certainly did. When you came to the outside, did you think he was going to be able to run them down? Yeah, he finished off really well in his trial the other day and we've probably learned out of that that you can ride him that little bit quieter and him finish off. And um, he seems to be breathing a lot better now. And like his runs last prep weren't that bad in a lot better company than this. So uh, we expected him to run well. Favourite was always going to be hard to beat. Um, but yeah, we got a beautiful drag behind it and got over the top of it late. D-Mac was just mentioning that the horse has had that throat up. How did he pull up uh, in the wind? Yeah, good. Yeah, he's a lot better now. He sort of makes a few different noises, but all in all, he's a lot better. And obviously, the way he's performing, it's um, worked. Well, hopefully, he can go on with it now. Congratulations. Cheers. Thank you. Well under Mitchell Pateman and uh, Darren McCall. If Rebel Knight wins, that's race four. We'll be back before the first leg of the quaddy.